key. So what have we got here? Let's just develop the night. Bring the bishop. Keep it simple. Okay, so we've got to this position fairly quick. We probably need to be a little bit stealthy now. Let's just develop the bishop out. Queens come for attack, attacking the pawn, so we've given them a pawn. Or have we? Yes, we have. Hmm. And then they're going to be on the rook. So I'm going to develop the knight, protecting the queens, at least protecting the rook. So, nice shot from the opponent there. Could attack, takes the pawn. Does that give us a nice position? Bishop then attacks the knight. Well, it's not the best. Let's just develop the bishop. Their queen is away from their king, so... I'm going to use the analogy of the king being home alone, queen being stuck on the other side of the board, unless of course he goes in king side castles. So they've moved, they've moved the pawn, well just to stop the knight from jumping to here to here, but that seems like it's a little bit of a lost tempo, so let's just develop, we're, we're ignoring the queen and he's continuing his attack down. So we could attack the queen now, going for the exchange, knowing full well they are up a pawn. But looking to really try and improve my position, I'm trying to be stealthy. Could take the pawn, he's offered the pawn up, but he's offered it maybe because he feels he's going to be in a better position. He's linking up two centre pawns there. And... Do, 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 do. Yeah, so our knight gets to this position. So we could push our pawn onto his pawn, but then he's got the fork with his pawn here. So that's probably what he's looking for. So let's keep it simple, capture. He's still looking for that fork again. So he's gone for simple. We could always look for the exchange with the queen. I'm just trying to see if there's anything better... Hmm, there's not looking like anything's jumping out at the minute. So we're going to be, going to have to just live with the fact that they've got the pawn up. He could always bring his queen here. Our knight's defending the knight. Or he could just bring it there as well. Looking to improve the position all the time. He could still drop the pawn, he's not doing that. Because the queen doesn't have any protection. We could chase the queen. Yep, and then obviously he's got his safe escape over here. So while it's um dishevelled, again this is an ideal position, but it's he's got the fork thing here. Mm -mm -mm. As if we chased it down now because the queen had no protection on it at that stage. It still doesn't have protection now. And he dropped the pawn would be able to take the queen for free so his queen would have to escape first but not to there probably to here because he's protecting this pawn because our queen would be able to take their pawn let's attack the queen trying to grab a pawn but like we say if he's got any sense the queen comes there okay probably look to put pressure yeah that all makes sense is there an attack on the queen that we can utilise? Right, no. No, I think it's a simple bishop attack now just to get some movement. And they're moving dead quick, like they've got it all sewn up, which can be quite annoying. We can come here, attack in the pawn. If he takes, takes, da 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 da. Yeah, let's. Um, Go with attacking this pawn, and 
again moving quick let's attack the knight now he's got pin through with the queen and the bishop but he is supporting it three times with the queen and the pawn still attacking this pawn but he's got two pieces now defending that So we seem to have slowed the opponent down for a, a moment. They are a pawn up, but we're oh, look at that diagonal. Can't make anything of it. If we take, then we can take this pawn. If we take here, maybe he takes with his pawn though. And we're hoping he takes with his knight, because then we can take here. So equalize for a split second. obviously the knight's taken here so looks like we have to take here doubling the pawns which isn't ideal see we've got this option of attacking our knight here I suppose we're attacking the queen but the knights are loose in that center what's happened he's done something not to the standard I'm expecting uh, da -da 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 -da. he's gonna get the pawn back again isn't he my gosh, I told you, a moment of happiness. <laughs> uh, we could reverse it, but the end result is his knight would take. We take his queen, his knight takes our rook, and our knight is not on anything. We take, can take the bishop, but he'd be up the exchange. There's no way I can save this pawn because once I go here, this pawn just drops down here. Well, if it dropped there, then we'd take the knight, wouldn't we? Okay, let's try that. Or maybe this one, but we've equalized by taking the pawn. If it drops there, does it give up? No. Bishop's um, controlling this square, but the knight can come here. Attacking the queen. Oh, there's a free pawn here. Knight could take that. So it's protecting his knight. We are going to get trapped. So we're going to grab this pawn. So we're plus one at the moment for that split second. And look how quick it's like. They expected it. Now he's looking for this type of situation with his bishop so I'm going to have to block the queen having access here I think and what trouble knight come in here it's away from their king though so let's not think about that just yet so for a brief moment in time we have clawed back our pawn and then we've gained advantage we've got a plus one at the minute how long are we keeping that I'm not too sure this pawn here is kind of flaky so he's attacking our queen uh, could come and attack his queen but there's no protection as you can see so bringing the queen here maybe then his bishop comes there we can push the pawn can't we onto the bishop uh, there's nothing else do, do, do. I do like this diagonal though but I can't do anything about that now okay so let's go here this pawn is going to get challenged big style something straight maybe a pawn push I just don't feel like my pieces are working together at the minute really um, not dynamic I've been chasing my tail trying to get a better position on the board which has helped us because we've got a plus one so I can't grumble but I've got loose pieces hanging here no protection on the rooks aren't in the game at the moment my king is kind of home alone even though I've got pieces around it and it's all a bit disheveled so yeah like we said this pawn is going to be challenged and we've got our queen in front of here so this rook is going to be challenging that Knight is protecting this pawn, this square as well. 
Is there a challenge to his queen? Challenge to the queen, he still wins the pawn, doesn't he? If the queen takes, knight takes. So should we not be defending? Or is there a better move like the knight attacking the rook? But where am I sending the rook to? He's not going to come here because he'll get taken. That looks like a quite a nice manoeuvre. Is it too much because I haven't sorted out my bed yet really? Mm. Attacking a higher piece, smaller piece attacking a higher piece, it can't be wrong. Go with that. So it's nice to have some sort of mantra to fall back on after we're trying to make decisions about things. It's not saying it works 100% proof, but if he goes there then he loses a rook, doesn't he? Because we can go here. And then we'd have a fork. So it's not gone there, it's gone here. And so our pawn is under threat as we mentioned. Could bring a rook to defend, which rook could be this one. Could push the pawn to defend. Could bring the knight back around again. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong. Again, let's use that psychology. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong. I can see how I'm getting myself there. My king is feeling less home alone. And we've got more pieces now. Gathering together towards their king area. A little piece at a time. I'm trying to be mindful of what the opponent can do. They just feel like they've more. They feel stealthy, but their their pieces are away from their king. That's a minus. He does have the deadly bishop, which is looking here, and the queen looking here. So that is one key thing. That is one movement that they're looking to finish the game off with. <clears throat> so you've got aspects of pawns pushing down, trying to get rid of this knight. Because at this moment in time we've got two knights on the square and the queen. It's not probably going to get away with that. So we may have dishevelled that particular attack process which is good. His rooks aren't linked but they can be easily linked and then putting pressure onto this pawn here. But again because we've got pieces around our king we seem to be circumventing that thought process so they've moved the queen and I still think he's going to try and look for this diagonal with the bishop uh, our knight can attack the queen well this way again a smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong and it seems to be giving us more development to come towards here to go to here attacking the rook got two pieces on this one piece so I'm going to attack the Queen if the Queen takes the Knight can take the Queen that's the pawn that is so it's hurting my head now because I'm trying to get my pieces working together there's no clear way in at the minute not as awesome as like their Bishop and the Queen type situation so we've got our lovely knights at the minute we're trying to work them together again try and bring this knight back up again maybe do some damage maybe get our queen here all looks a bit obvious so it might be a long a nice long slog of positional play but at the minute I think our last three moves have been smaller pieces attacking higher pieces improving our position every so often so again the queens come down so we could attack with the rook there's nothing behind so we could attack with this rook because he may just be playing the, playing the weak card is there a fork mm, maybe not yet queen is there an exchange 
could go for an exchange we're plus one at the minute he doesn't have to exchange though smaller piece attacking the higher piece well ho 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 before I do that it's good job I'm trying to train my eyes look at this knight it's got no protection on it it's got no protection on it <laughs> very clever so smaller piece attacking a higher piece knight can jump and attack the rook making inroads towards their king area I'm constantly trying to practice once I'm making a move having a look before I actually place that piece down having a look at what it was the opponent as was actually attempting to do because there's so many games where I've placed the piece down and then I've actually seen what the weakness was where I should have moved or what piece I should have moved so it is really quite annoying I don't think I'll ever get rid of it fully but it really does help with better calculation and again it's not the same with winning we're only plus one here but again smaller piece attacking a higher piece that seems to be the theme for this particular game so far so their rook I'm just banking on the fact that it's going to sort of run out of monk manoeuvres the more time the smaller pieces are attacking him so we could bring the knight across here which is attacking this pawn and it's protecting the knight again he's still potentially looking he's looking to condense our king somehow but in our mantra the motto goes rooks don't have any place in the center of the board unless of course they're going in for some devastation so i've just looked to see if there is some devastation and i can't really see it immediately so we're coming here we're attacking a pawn a pawn at the same time as attacking this pawn potentially looking to get this type of thing it's pretty obvious stuff though but if they allow us to do it then we may as well take advantage of that this pawn is constantly under threat their queen is stuck in the middle ooh I thought I had a fork then I thought I had a fork you know on the queen and the rook uh, is there something better though if we attack the queen he does have safe places to go, safe places, safe, they're not safe, safe. So he's got three spaces that he can go to. Probably should move my queen out of the way of this rook line. I'm actually going to attack the queen first, smaller piece attacking a higher piece stick with the theme I feel like we're slowly building stuff up but at the same token it doesn't feel clear which causes that confusion so I'm plumping for attacking the higher pieces with the smaller pieces as best possible hopefully they'll run out of space Come into this, yeah. Like I said, he's, he's going to be hunting this diagonal here. It's like he's got nothing, nothing else to think about. So I'm just going to bring this pawn here now to block off the attempt of this, because that's all they're focused on. So he can go back. He's got uh, there. He's got here. He's got. That's it, so free, free spaces, is that right? Yeah. The king is right here. It looks like it wants to be challenged with, as we mentioned before, this diagonal of some sort. What? 
Oh, I bet you I'm falling for something, Anna. Yeah, I am, Anna. My pawn's in front here. Bishop takes something. Something happens. If I, hmm? If I take with the pawn. He did have escape squares, didn't he? It's just one of those Paul Morphy things where they've sacrificed their queen for a better position and then there's nothing I can do about it. And obviously my queen is in front of their rook, but we do have a pawn here. If we take the queen with the pawn, I don't think it's as complicated as I think it is. I think maybe they've made a mistake. Pawn takes, they might resign, resign now. Pawn takes, rook takes, knight takes. Hmm. I won't go any further than that. I wasn't too sure that they needed to... I suppose that's the... Yeah, they've resigned. Yeah, that, that's the impact of um, smaller pieces attacking higher pieces. Like I said, um, we will eventually sort of potentially close down the areas that they can move to. Um, but in that case there, we hadn't blocked off the squares that they moved to but psychologically we made it look like we had closed down their spaces so the opponent then sacrificed their higher piece which was the queen yeah interesting game